Good afternoon, everyone. At about 1.30 this afternoon, uh, officers responded to the area of 156, Dr. Samuel McCree Way, for multiple calls of shots fired in the area. On their arrival, they found the first victim, a female in her 20s, a city resident. <clears throat> she was struck more than once in the upper body. The officers also located a second victim, who's a male, 22 years old, also a city resident, suffering from a gunshot wound to a lower extremity. Both victims were transported to Strong Hospital where the female is in guarded condition. Uh, the male victim is expected to make a full recovery. At this time, we have no suspect information and no one is in custody. I can tell you this is a very large scene. I'm sure some of you were down there with me and saw it. Um, when I left, the officers were working diligently to collect all the evidence before the storm arrived. However, I can tell you it is a, a very complicated scene. So probably the area around Jefferson Avenue and Dr. Samuel McCree Way will be closed for some time this evening. I can say this shooting, as well as the recent shootings the past week, are targeted shootings towards certain individuals. I cannot say at this time if any of the incidents are related, and anyone who is saying that they are is purely speculation at this point. Um, I've seen it going around, and uh, like I said, it's, at this point, it's all speculative. I can't get into it. What is a concern is that all these shootings have occurred midday in crowded areas with numbers of people around. Today, there was a school right down the street from where this happened. Uh, we were in contact with the principal of the school almost immediately. Um, I don't believe it went into lockdown, but she did keep all the students inside. We also immediately sent our FACET team, which is the Family and Crisis Intervention Team, to the school to assist with the students and their parents if needed. I can also tell you that this past weekend, the Rochester Police Department did participate in joint paroles with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, patrols rather, sorry, with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. Uh, in this detail, uh, we targeted known violent offenders in the geographical area that these shootings have affected. And again, that is continuing the policy initiated by Chief Harriet Sullivan several weeks ago, um, where we continue to target known violent offenders in the city. Um, we will have um, updated increased patrols throughout the week uh, due to this. Um, whether or not any other agencies participate uh, is still in the discussion phase, so I can't say whether that definitely will be the case. I can tell you our tactical unit, which is our uh, specialized, highly trained uniform unit, uh, will be in the areas through, uh, through the upcoming week. I ask that anyone who has information with any of these incidents, please call 911 or Crime Stoppers. It was a very, very busy scene down there uh, when this happened. I am sure someone saw something. Um, we've yet to really have anyone come forward in, in most of these cases, yet they were all crowded areas. So, you know, uh, for the sake of the community and the children, you know, and the innocent folks in these communities, even though only specific individuals are targeted, it makes it dangerous for everybody. And I can tell you, you know, this specific one this morning, I had a uniform car drive by this exact scene not 10 minutes before. So it isn't, it isn't, I mean, it's impossible to put a cop on every corner, obviously, but even increased patrols can only do so much if we don't get folks come forward to help us out that are willing to give us some information so we can get to the bottom of these. That being said, uh, the Major Crimes Unit is also handling the investigation today. Um, and as soon as they have put together some leads, we will be targeting uh, the suspects in these incidents. We're just waiting to get enough to, uh, so that we can actually go after them. I'll take a, a few questions. Do you know the nature of the shooting? This person was in a car? So both victims were on the sidewalk when this occurred. And they were shot by someone in a car? Do we know that yet? Yes, they were shot by someone in a car. Would you describe this as a drive-by? Well, drive-bys typically, I think, are defined as random acts of violence against just groups of people. Um, we know this is targeted. So, and the fact that a car was involved and they drove by, I guess so. But uh, I would like to specify that you know we know this is a targeted incident. Do you have any sort of inkling as to why these individuals were targeted? Uh, I can't comment on that at this time because they're all open investigations. Is there any reason to think that there may be something that 
talk about it, you can at least pay attention to it and, and focus on it and investigating as to why these <coughs> Well, and we have been from the get-go. Um, like I said, the, the, that's obviously the first thing you do. That's police work 101. So, yes, we are looking for correlating factors. Are you frustrated? Frustrated, especially for the children. Um, I've seen uh, City Councilman Vice President Willie Lightfoot three times since this started, and each time was at the scene of one of these shootings. And, uh, you know, after a while, when you're only seeing each other for things like this, you get tired of seeing each other. I'm sure he's tired of seeing me at them, too. Do you know if the victims today were related to the victims last week? No, we have no information that ties any of these together at this point. Uh, as far as if they're physically related, like families, I don't have that information in front of me right now. You mentioned increased patrols. I know you can't get into exact details of what you mean, but what areas do you feel like need the most attention right now? Well, primarily most of these incidents have occurred in the southwest, uh, which is the Genesee section and the central section. So we are concentrating there, but obviously we have increased our vigilance um, in all areas of the city. A child might have been at the scene or involved. Anything along those lines? There were children in the area, yes. And it's a miracle we did not have a child struck again today, just as it was Friday when we had children in the area. How common was it when you got Thank you.